Hey YouTube, so an update on the Harbor Freight 450 pound uh, mechanical uh, transmission jack. Uh, I used it again. I have another issue on another car and uh, this is the uh, 2004 Chevy Venture. Uh, the main problem with this car is that the radiator core support is all rusted out. Yes, there's supposed to be a bar across here, or a plate of steel across here that supports the radiator. As you can see, it's rusted out. Now, I ripped the rest of it off. And check out there, a little uh, knob there, a little rubber bushing where the radiator sits. Uh, but I got a chance to use this nifty transmission jack again because I noticed some oil leaks. And I got to use my um, engine support from Harbor Freight again. So, uh, boy, these tools are certainly paying for themselves. But I wanted to go and look at the transmission jack again, just for a couple minutes. Um, when you take the car, and here we are, its wheels are on the ground in the back, and uh, jack stands in the front. When the car is sitting at an angle, uh, this transmission jack can uh, be used to uh, essentially line up the uh, platform here to, uh, get it so that the it is roughly kind of inclined with the with the vehicle now i will say that uh, with a varying degree of success that works so you can take and you can raise this up and get a little incline on the transmission jack now uh, having said that though if it was easy to make that transmission line back up when you roll it back under the car i still had to mess with it for uh, the better part of an hour to get the uh, guide pins on the 4T 65E transmission to go into their proper pockets and then be able to tighten all of these six uh, bell housing bolts back down. Uh, but that feature is there and that's that's kind of neat. And this time I even used the straps, uh, you know, the tie-up the tie strap here uh, to uh, secure the uh, transmission on this. And I did have a piece of half inch plywood sitting on the top there. I just don't like the idea of uh, this metal on the metal transmission pan. So just thought I'd pass that along. I guess the people that are interested in this transmission jack will hopefully see this other video in my uh, pr produced videos and uh, uh, take a little bit more uh, knowledge from it. But it worked uh, pretty well again. Um, again, I like the wide wheels on the platform and the ratcheting wrench and all that sort of stuff. Uh, one thing that is kind of weird is that the uh, ratchet side of it, if you're uh, under the car and it's a front wheel drive, or even if it's a rear drive car, and you have to lift this plate up, that what that means is that you have to get under, you have to go under here instead of being in the front of the car you have to be kind of behind it to, to get your ratchet into the uh, lifting device there. So uh, that's, I wish you could maybe do it both ways. That would be really cool. But again, for the price, can't complain. But that little feature there, kind of neat. I didn't really discover it until I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I can tip this thing. And there it is, slotted hole, tip away. Have a great day, YouTube.